Well, seasonal flu and COVID-19 cases are raging in our area right now, but doctors are bracing for an even bigger surge of infection after the holidays. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is here with us this morning to break down and diagnose these winter illnesses, the best way to treat them. Uh, right now, I feel like everyone I come in encounter with has either just had the flu, a cold, they're trying to figure out what they have. So let's just start with, uh, unfortunately, things it seems are going to get a little bit worse before they get better. Yes, unfortunately. And that's because the two biggest issues right now are flu, uh, influenza, and COVID. Now, the issue is, is that with both of these illnesses, they can be transmitted during that asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic state where people don't even realize that they're sick. In fact, 50% of COVID cases are transmitted during that asymptomatic period. And then you add in holiday gatherings. So for sure, we're going to see a surge in cases. Okay, so that's why we'll be expecting more cases, all of these gatherings. Now, the symptoms for COVID and the flu are similar. So can you yes. kind of break down the differences? I, I personally never know. I know. What do I have? It, they're very similar. So the thing is that both influenza and COVID are respiratory illnesses. They, they target the respiratory tract, so there's a lot of overlap in symptoms. Fever, cough, sore throat, body aches. I mean, we know. It just it feels miserable. Um, there are some differences in how they behave. Influenza, we see more secondary infections. So it's a pattern where you get sick, you get partially better, and then you may get sick again with a bacterial illness. So right. we see that in influenza. With COVID, it seems to trigger more of an immune response in the body. So more inflammatory symptoms and also that loss of taste and smell. But at the end of the day, they are very similar. So you need to get tested if you don't feel well because the treatment and the isolation periods are very different for both. Okay, so the key is to get tested. And now we just want over diagnosis now let's go over treatments right so uh, influenza I need to emphasize that rest hydration electrolytes do not underestimate the power of those things you really just need to let your body heal itself now additionally we have the antiviral Tamiflu Tamiflu is an incredible drug it will reduce your course of illness two to three days lowers your viral load it's approved for patients at two weeks old or you know you can give it to babies so it's relatively safe and you can also take it as prophylaxis so if you were exposed to somebody with the flu you can take Tamiflu and it can prevent you from getting sick. In terms of isolation, you want to isolate for 24 hours after your fever is over, but you can be contagious up to five to seven days, so you have to be reasonable. If you're still coughing and sneezing, obviously just stay home and rest. Right, that's always good advice, rest. Now that was for treatment of the flu. Mm -hmm. How about is treatment different for COVID-19? Okay, so for COVID, again, rest, hydration, electrolytes, fever reducers. There are a lot of treatments now for COVID-19. We have antivirals, we have immune modulators, we have steroids. Uh, the most common oral antiviral drug is Paxlovid, but we really reserve these more advanced therapies for people that are high risk for having severe illness. So if you're immunocompromised, if you're on steroids chronically, chemotherapy, cardiopulmonary disease, and you get sick, you want to reach out to your healthcare provider immediately because there are drugs that will prevent you from developing severe illness. And then we're dealing with this uh, triple demic. Uh, I know just the other week, our Andrea Graham, she said she tested, she was positive for the flu, where I always get confused is the, the difference with the cold. So yeah. uh, the symptoms of the cold and then the treatments of the common cold. Okay, so believe it or not, the cold, the common cold is still out there and it is competing with influenza and COVID. Um, 100 different viruses can cause the common cold. Vi rhinovirus is the most common. You're infectious for two to three days, but you can be contagious for almost 14 days with the common cold, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So if you're feeling sick, you want to be really um, aware of that and stay in. Uh, so this is where I like to use home remedies, okay, because they really work. Chicken noodle soup? <laughs> well, yes. Really work? <laughs> so number one, chicken noodle soup. It is actually a wonder drug, and we have 
have science to back it. It's a great form of hydration, nutrition. It contains the amino acids cysteine and carnosine. And what that does is it reduces congestion and inflammation. So it actually scientifically has been proven to work. Second is honey. If you can get your hands mm. on Manuka honey, uh, it is made from bees that pollinate the tea tree. So it has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties can really alleviate symptoms. And then the third is actually gargling with salt water. So you need to know how to gargle. <laughs> Always a staple. Yeah, but it will really, uh, it's a wonder uh, treatment for sore throats. It reduces inflammation, cleans out your upper airways. It can really provide a lot of relief. And these, these are easy therapies. They can be done at home and they work. Well, such good tips and advice. Thank you so much, Dr. Nidhi Kumar, for being with us this yeah. morning. And we'll have more of those tips on our website, cbsnewyork.com. And we'll be right back after this.